Hi, welcome to the presentation of our paper Dual States of Landing for Pick and Place Manipulator. My name is Adam Polak and I will be your guide throughout this video. If you have any questions or remarks about the topic, please feel free to contact me. In this paper, we examine a particle motion control problem called soft landing, encountered largely in the design of pick and place machines for the semiconductor industry. To put it simply, the problem is to move the end effector of the machine from a certain distance and achieve a physical contact with some surface, while keeping the contact force within some given limits. Often, the upper bound on the impact and contact force is slow enough as not to cause damage, but sufficiently high to ensure a stable contact. This can be critical in some applications, for instance, in semiconductor soldering. To illustrate this requirement, here is our experimental platform with a sharp end defector, approaching a grape. As you can see, the contact is firm and stable, but the grape survives the encounter without any permanent damage. Without accurate contact force control, the consequences can be dire for the grape. The soft landing problem has already been studied for a single actuator, and the solution for the case of voice collinear motors has already been implemented in commercial drivers. We investigated a more complex setup with two linear drives in one axis. The motivation for the overactuation is to extend the range of motion while keeping the high performance in terms of accuracy, bandwidth and linearity of short-range actuators. Furthermore, the inner stage, actuated by a voice call motor, is preloaded with a weight compensating spring. The laboratory platform design is based on an actual industrial robot for die-attached soldering, and the two linear drive stages represent the robot's motion in the vertical axis. There is no force sensor available for the feedback whatsoever, only one for the verification purposes. An existing motion control design in the industry is to decouple the motion of each axis. In the case of dual stage soft landing, this means that the initial positioning is done by the primary stage and the soft landing procedure by the secondary stage. An example of an industry-ready solution for the soft landing problem is the soft land procedure trademarked by the company SMAC, which is the manufacturer of the voice call motor used in our experimental platform as the secondary stage. This method drives the voice call motor in velocity control mode and switches to current control when the impact is detected. This algorithm is not very well applicable to our setup because of the presence of weight compensating spring, which causes a strong dependence of the resulting contact force on the contact position. Therefore, we introduce an improved version of the algorithm with spring compensation to achieve robustness towards the position of the contact. Then we have tuned the resulting sequential solution to dual states of landing to the limits of our laboratory setup to serve as a reference to which we can compare our proposed procedure. A disadvantage of the sequential solution is the switch between the two motions usually happens after the primary stage signals that the position set point is reached and stops. This inherently means that the velocity of the end effector is close to zero for a short time, which increases the overall duration of the procedure. Our proposed procedure improved this by driving both the primary stage and the secondary stage in parallel by decoupling them in terms of the functionality. The primary one takes care of the entire positioning and the secondary one is used to regulate the contact force. Instead of waiting for the primary stage to reach the position set point, it is sufficient that it decelerates to the contact velocity, which assures that there is no dangerous spike in the contact force during the impact. Once it reaches the contact velocity, it doesn't matter where the contact position is and if it changes slowly, as long as the secondary stage doesn't reach the limit position. Various studies suggest that using a force sensor for feedback can be limiting or even destabilizing because of its limited bandwidth and high noise, not to mention the need for a more complicated mechanical design. Therefore, sensorless methods are of a great importance in force control. Our solution is based on a reaction force observer, 
first introduced by Murakami et al. in 1993. It estimates the external force acting on the voice call motor. The estimate is then used for feedback control, with which we essentially compensate for the force acting on the motor by adjusting the force exerted by the motor. By setting the reference force, we can now control the contact force. It showed that by tuning the damping parameter B, we can greatly influence the resulting contact force around the impact and the instant during which the two stages perform reciprocal motion. The best results were achieved with damping around 10 times higher than the nominal value together with a high pass filter on the velocity measurement. This has been shown both experimentally and in simulation. The simulation with a mathematical model is available at MATLAB Central for free download. We have modeled the dual state system as a hybrid system with three modes. The first mode describes the free motion with no contact. The second mode models the limit position of the voice call motor and the third mode models the contact of the end effector with the environment, for example a wafer with components. We have implemented the model in hybrid system description language with the use of the hybrid toolbox for MATLAB by Alberto Benporat. In a benchmark comparison with the reference of landing procedure, our proposed procedure based on the reaction force observer reaches the impact faster, at the cost of slight contact force oscillations during the reciprocal motion of the stages. However, as long as the contact force stays within the constraints, the oscillations often do not matter from a technological perspective, as is the case of die-attached soldering. In fast and repeated procedures, any improvement of the cycle time is critical and could mean a noticeable difference in long-term production periods. In conclusion, we have proposed a systematic solution to soft landing based on the concept of reaction force observer, compared it both in simulation and experiment with a documented simple method implemented in commercial drivers, and finally shared the Simulink model and MATLAB codes through a public repository. Based on our paper, we have also implemented the force control with RFOB in a custom-made voice code driver prototype based on TNC 4.0 development board, proving that the solution is well reproducible and applicable in practice. Thanks for watching our presentation and have a nice day!